Hi, my name is Kimberly from Zeebin Development. Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to import your MailChimp data into Razor's Edge using Chimpigration. So open up the plugin in Razor's Edge and select import from the menu. So we need to select the list we want to import our new subscribers from. We can choose to only import a segment of that list if we'd like. And we can either import new subscribers only or we can import data from both new and existing subscribers on Razor's Edge. We can create a query of our new constituents, any that we update and any that we skip as well. The mapping allows that shows us the MailChimp merge variables. We can map these against our Razor's Edge fields. You can see the tree down the side so I can select those and you simply double click to add the mapping. And we can also choose whether or not a blank field in MailChimp can overwrite a pre-populated field in Razor's Edge just by checking the box. If we've got any groups within that MailChimp list, we can choose how we're going to up those on raise, update those on Razor's Edge as well. So we can update those to various areas, including constituent codes, attributes, and consent records. And then we've got a number of different settings about what our preferences are in terms of either overwriting or adding to email addresses, to addresses, and we can also add default constituent codes and attributes as well. And then we can run the import. So we can either import all for a first synchronization or ordinarily it will choose the date you last ran the import from. And we can save these settings so we don't have to go through this whole process every single time. So let's run the import. I can see we've got three records to import into Razor's Edge. So as we can see here, we've got the Razor's Edge data on the left, the MailChimp data on the right, and the direction of data flow in the center. So we can see this record doesn't exist in Razor's Edge. So the action to take is to import all, to all of the data. This will obviously create a constituent ID when it creates the record. So that constituent ID will be pushed back out into MailChimp and saved on the constituent record there for next time we run this import or a synchronization. We've got three records. These all are exactly the same. So they're all brand new records that we're going to add to Razor's Edge. So let's process those. Let's save a query with them in. And we'll get a summary screen showing us what's happened. So we've got three new records and nothing else in this occasion. So let's go and take a look at those. So let's open up that query. And we can see we've got our three new records that have been imported. Let's open up the first one. So we've got his basic information, his constituent ID, his address and his email address. And we've got our default constituent code that we set up in the newsletter. If we take a look at his record now in MailChimp, we can see we've got the constituent IDs all added here as well. So when we come to synchronize in the future, that information will be there too. So that's how easy it is to import your new subscribers from MailChimp into Razor's Edge. Thanks for listening.